you're watching Israeli News Live. The early elections that are coming up in Israel may take a very serious turn, and not for the good for Israel. If Miss Sippy Levini, uh, who is uh, running for prime minister, ends up making the seat there in Israel. In fact, uh, she has said, stated uh, today on Channel 2 News, she is ready to be prime minister and has vowed to do whatever it takes to, uh, to unseat Prime Minister Netanyahu from this post. Of course, she's got a lot of backing behind her because she is for a two-state solution. This is something that uh, President Barack Obama has wanted as well as uh, his uh, key partner behind this, uh, John Kerry, something the Vatican has pushed for as well. So no doubt there is a lot of weight behind her in support financially, even behind the scenes, to make sure that she becomes the next Prime Minister of Israel. Uh, said in here in, in the article, the combination of Netanyahu and a Jewish home chairman, Naftali Bennett, is destructive, she states here. I want someone with my positions to be prime minister. I am a candidate for prime minister and I am ready to be prime minister, but I am not placing what I think at the top of my priorities. The test should be a test of what can bring more votes to replace Netanyahu. There will be a joint list because it is essential, because it gives a better result than if we run separately, she continued. And as I said, it is definitely an all-out coup to unseat Prime Minister Netanyahu. Now, Neftali Bennett, who has actually said to Prime Minister Netanyahu there are separate parties, Prime Minister Netanyahu is of the Likud party, and, uh, and uh, Mr. Uh, Bennett is, uh, is, is of a different party, but has agreed not to attack one another in the elections. Because, of course, uh, the, uh, Mr. Bennett is a, is a very strong advocate for Israel's right and Israel's sovereignty, and that there should be no two-state. Uh, so it's something that Ms. Levini, he knows very well, is on the destruction for Israel. And of course, if Ms. Uh, Livni actually becomes the Prime Minister of Israel, then yes, Israel will be divided. It will fulfill the prophecy. But she seems to be oblivious to the very Word of God that has said what God will do to those that divide His land. I certainly wouldn't want to be in her shoes if that were to be the case, let alone the very fact that she's negotiated for a two-state solution in the first place. Nonetheless, let's move on in other news as well. Uh, in, in the defense and security in Israel today, uh, Syria has accused Israel on their national television uh, of four Israeli uh, fighters coming in and bombing two key locations, one near the airport and another place in Damascus where the Syrians have a stronghold. They are accusing Israel of supporting the rebel fighters there in the area, a place that has been... Uh, of many contentions and serious confrontations. It only brings to mind the time where the Bible speaks about that Damascus will become a ruinous heap. Well, I can wonder what will actually spark that particular trigger to, to set all these things into motion. Um, well, anyway, NGO offers legal help to Gaza. Uh, the op soldiers under investigation, and for those that may not know, we posted this on our Facebook, Israeli News Live there, the article out of Arut Shiva that, that spoke about that there is now being an investigation done against soldiers during the Gaza protective edge uh, uh, attack on Gaza, to, to, or uh, offensive there, or defensive, however you want to call that there, where the Israeli government actually went in there to try to defuse Hamas with their radical uh, attacks on Israel. It's actually absurd that there would even be an investigation or charges brought up whatsoever against those soldiers that are fighting for the sovereignty of Israel and their right to exist. I'm Stephen Bindenu with Israeli News Live. Good evening.